Wakelin with RemarkablyCreated.com. In today's One Take Wonder video, I invite you to join me here at Craft World as we unpack boxes of absolutely incredible new product from the 2014 catalog. Now this won't be everything because as demonstrators we did do a pre-order in early May and we were able to order all of the in colors, some of the fun new stamps, some of the fun designer series papers, but it is almost everything. And a little story about that. When I first started as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator 18 years ago, I was on a mission to leave nursing behind. I was an RN working full-time 12-hour night, shift, night shifts with a busy four and a six-year-old and a husband who traveled. As I worked to leave nursing behind and to grow a career level um, business with Stampin' Up!, what I found though was that there were other things I wanted, not just the income. I wanted to be able to order all of the ribbons. I remember the first time I sat down to make a card and didn't have the ribbon that I wanted to copy it exactly like the one that I saw online. The other thing then that I wanted was all of the colors because again I wanted the flexibility to create an all of Stampin' Up's great colors. And so throughout the years I've been able to accomplish that goal of having all of the ribbon and all of the ink as well as that career level income with Stampin' Up. Along the way, I put my kids through college, and we've enjoyed some really great things as a family because of Stampin' Up. I'm at a position now where I can just simply hit the I want it all button, but I do that for a reason. We actually host two big events, big four-day crop and craft events in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and part of the draw for those big four-day events that are open to all demonstrators and the public is that I have literally all of my stuff in my craft room up at those retreats. There is a fully stocked tool shed that has every big shot die, has doubles of every punches, has almost every stamp set. I refuse to buy the ones that I absolutely don't like, and I won't tell you which ones those are because they might be your favorite. We take um, all of the inks, anything that's new, any kind of fun paper piercing tools, trimmers, and all of that kind of stuff. And that way, in this day and age of really high fees with um, luggage and all of that, as well as just the ease of coming in and out without having to pack and unpack and all of that kind of stuff. It just makes it really much more convenient for our guests. They don't have to spend hours unpacking and setting up their little stations because all of the tools and the fun things are provided as well as the stamps. They can simply just bring their paper and adhesive and be ready to crop and craft all weekend on their chosen products. So, little story behind the I want it all button. So now let's have fun looking at all of it here in these boxes together. So, let's start here with the first one. So it was really kind of fun. So if you saw the picture online. And for those of you curious about the in colors, I did do a video and you can find that introducing the 2014 in colors, showing them compared to others. Set the packing list aside. And now we're just going to start to visit and start to look at the goodies that are in this box. So, of course, one of the great things in the catalog are all these beautiful new stamps. We're going to build a pile of them, and we'll start to go through them. Stampin' Up! does have a bunch of new adhesives. These are their new glue sticks. So I'm anxious to try them to see. They have um, a different shape to them. Instead of being square, they have a diamond end to them. So that will be fun. We will do a video on adhesives alone and the new adhesives because we also have this fast fuse. It's a cross between snail and sticky strip, so you won't have to be pulling off that red backing that sticks to everything. So that's a cross, and again, um, adhesives will be one of the featured videos. Oh, I love ribbon. Lots and lots of ribbon. Metallics are still popular. These are beautiful satin ribbons. They're going to be perfect for your special occasions in life. And then we have these beautiful narrow taffetas here in different colors. If you want a sampling of all of the different ribbon, I do have a ribbon sampler that I offer to my customers, so make sure you're on my newsletter. I will be doing another order for ribbon um, for those that want that sampler, but I don't know if you can see. Look at all that beautiful color. Isn't that fun? And then we have a whole bunch of new seam binding. I love seam binding because you can wet it and crinkle it and let it dry. It has a really old-fashioned kind of look to it. Also, I find that seam binding takes ink really well, so you can do some fun altering with markers and re-inkers and things like that. So there's a pretty navy, real pretty um, espresso, and then we've got this beautiful um, Wisteria Wonder. So it's kind of fun. You pull something out like that, and you go, oh, look, that's a great color combination. Some more of that really pretty narrow ribbon. 
Of course, now with Project Life and our ongoing this and that product line, we've got fun washi tapes. And there's no rhyme or reason to this box. So we're going to probably pull it out all kinds of random orders. And then different new embossing powders. So we will go ahead and do charts and feature those for you. I'll keep coming with the seam binding. I went ahead and ordered a few daubers. Stampin' Up! did reconfigure them, so I wanted to compare the difference so that we could see what was different with them. Oh, look how pretty. See? Isn't that beautiful? Okay, and more powder. Oh, this is going to be the color in my new office, so I'm so excited to see this crushed curry powder in my new paper office upstairs. And then Baker's Twine, another really, really versatile product, and we've got lots of fun new colors of Baker's Twine to work with. I'm especially excited about the black and white, so that's going to be really fun. One of the things that I asked on my Facebook page recently was what was one of the things that you wanted me to play with first from the box, and one of the requests that I had was for this peacock stamp. So we're going to have fun with blendabilities, trying to come up with some clever ideas with that one. New dies are always great. Look at the pennant shapes. Those are going to be beautiful for making all kinds of pennants, and they're going to be great on scrapbook pages. They're also going to be great on the front of cards. So you're absolutely going to love that. Oops, I'm sorry. I kept looking because I thought that wasn't videotaping, and I thought, oh, no, i got to check it out. Look at that. Oh, snap. That's going to be a fun one. I've got a couple of friends that are photographers. I know they're going to love that. Another one of Stampin' Up! Signatures are coordinating punches and stamps. So this goes with a beautiful single stamp that we have. More Baker's Twine. Look at that pretty, pretty, pretty Kush Curry. Lots of new fun. Let me find my X-Acto knife. Project Life. And I love just how well packaged the Project Life is. It's almost like a, a testimony. If you can get it out of the box, then you can use it. But of course, Stampin' Up! packages it singly nice like this to protect them and then stamp it up has their signature custom boxes and is this going to tell me which one this is without opening it no let's open it and we'll get this up under here carefully so we don't ruin the pretty box that was packaged so nicely there we go lots of stuff for recycling and we've got pretty new cards this one is the playground pack. And I can already see that I'm going to like the really bright colors. Don't forget that this box is unique to Stampin' Up! and there's over um, there's 100 cards and they're all different. There are no doubles. and They're oriented both landscape and portrait for you, so that's great. We've got a spiral punch back. I had always missed our spiral punch, so it's back and I'm grateful for that. This goes with the What's Up stamp set. I don't know if you can see it. It's two great arrows. There's going to be lots and lots of uses for that, both on cards and in Project Life. So that's a great punch to work with. Oh, look, guys. Look at that. More beautiful ribbon. And now we're introducing the gold narrow in keeping with the metallics that you're still seeing out there. More of the fuse. I had to have a couple extra so I can keep playing with it. New little border punch for us. This is lots of little hearts. Lots of reasons to use hearts, not just for Valentine's. Oh, yay! Many of you guys have heard me say before, my favorite thing is not card making. I love scrapbooking, so Project Life really makes me happy. I love home decor, kind of the fun stuff that you find on Pinterest. And so this is our new chalkboard banner kit. And I don't know if you guys can see this at all. It's actually really sturdy cardboard. I wasn't expecting that. Real, real sturdy. This is going to be great. Oh, can't wait to do that. My team, I'm going to set them up to do a, a banner swap, so that will be fun for them. And, of course, more ribbons still coming. There are 49 different ribbons, so if you want a little sample of all of them, new silver glitter, more and more for that metallic theme. Oh, and these are so sweet. Let's go ahead and get them out of here. Little sequins. And they're in the in colors. Real pretty little shiny sequins. They're going to make some great little shaper bag, shaker cards and shaker bags. So that's going to be something fun. Let's see what this is. Oh, yeah! I've been waiting to get these. You ever see something in the catalog and it's just so stinking cute? And then when you get it in life, it's even cuter. Look at these guys. 
These are the new in color clothespins. Oh, they're going to be so much fun to make little mini banner, cake banners, cake buntings, things like that. Lots of new impression folders, so that's great to work with. You've already seen the mustache framelit, so that's what I just set aside. We have a hamburger box and a french fry box, so it'll be fun to do some drive-up themed classes. Or I love diners, dives, and drive-ins, so those are perfect and right up my alley. Had to get a couple of them just because I know I'm going to be using them. You might see them show up on some thank you gifts as well, too. So. And then this is, yay, I wanted to see what it looked like. This is the new 6x6 album that is part of Project Life. It does have some coordinating page protectors in 6x6 size. Oh, it's really fun. I like it. I like things that have an office feel to them. And so it's got that great office piece on the back. And this is just waiting to be stamped on or embellished. Look how pretty. That's going to be great. 6x6 size. Perfect gift giving. You can work on an 8 or 12 by 12 one for yourself and a 6x6 one to give away. This is the new um, All of Bloom Designer Series paper pack. Let's take a quick look at it and see what these papers look like. Can you see? Flowers never get old. Look at that. Fresh and funky. Oh. I love it. And of course, all of our cardstocks and designer papers coordinate with our inks and ribbons, so you can see lots more ribbon there. And then here is the little 6x6 page protectors. And just like their big brother, the 12x12, they come in a Ziploc bag, which will keep them stored and safe while you're working on them. So I can see where I'm going to be making side-by-side -side albums, one for my kids or one for my family, my in-laws or somebody, as I work on my own. Dazzling details in gold in keeping with all of our metallic, so that's great. More new color baker's twine. This, um, lots of gift giving and gift packaging in this year's catalog. And so this is our new tags that we have. And of course they're in some of our new in colors. And they just make gift giving and, and tag making really easy. So maybe you don't want to buy all of the designer series paper or the framelits or things like that. You can just simply get these great tags. There's really cute, talk about office supplies. Instead of clothespins, these have these really cute little metal clips in them. Look at that. So you're going to be able to make some really cute bags. Get hold of our polka dot bags that we'll see here in one of these boxes. These are our transfer adhesive sheets. These will be featured in the adhesive video, so stay tuned for that. More Big Shop folders. So you've got those to work with. If you don't have a Big Shot yet, it's a must-have tool. I can't even imagine living without mine. 12 by 12 page protectors. Sometimes for the cover of your Project Life or as divider pages, you'll want just the plain 12 by 12. So those are great that we could finally order those and have them on board. Had to get extra 12 by 12. Use my hostess benefits for that. This was the one of the other requests that I had was that I would demonstrate these. They're called Mask, and you've got four different kinds, and you can use them as stencils, we can spritz over them, we can use markers and other things. So this will be one of the other first things that I do a video on based on the request from my Facebook page. Oh, you guys, this is really pretty. This is one of our note card kits. has the little envelopes, has the baker's twine in it right away. And then look at that. It's already die cut. Hey, you. And look how easily just by folding it up. When I was a little girl, I used to collect stationery. Maybe that's why I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I used to save one sheet from every one of the different kits and packets. Star framelits. Oh, we've been waiting for these. I think this is the most, when we asked on all of our different groups, was the first thing everybody's going to get. Star framelits was the number one thing that was mentioned over and over again. Star framelits and then the flower patch stamp set. So, there you go. Look at those star framelits. Ah, oh, so many cool things. Going to have to have some kind of an Oscar or Grammy party just because now we have all the cool stamps or framelits. These are little brown bags that are polka dots. They go with the tags that I showed you. They can also be used alone. They also make great memorabilia packets and your project life and things like that. This is another one of the new kits that's all inclusive for Stampin' Up! This year's Simply Created kit and it just makes these really sweet little gifts. 
but everything that you need, the clothespins, the stick, the um, pre-cut, pre-scored little piece to make that little silver ruffle, it's all there for you. And what we can't tell in the catalog until you got it was these boxes actually have metallic silver on them. So, love it, love it, love it. Ooh, yay! Numbers. New Big Shot numbers. Nice and skinny, so you'll be able to put long numbers on. Another new folder. These are great, guys. And then this is probably why the box was so heavy. Let's toss that off to the side. Stampin' Up! has these great things. They're called paper stacks. And what this one is, is it's all of the in colors. And it's just what I call monochromatic or tone-on-tone -tone or solid kinds of designer series paper. So, look at that. So, fun, fun, fun. Lots of possibilities. If you're doing a theme party or theme event, the paper stacks are nice for that. Oh, this is another one that everybody has been dying to get their hands on. This is our kind of newsprint paper is always kind of fun. And this is what's called typeset. Especially paper it has got a really neat feel to it. But again, I don't know if you can see. Look at that. Look how fun that is. I think we're going to have to do a video just on designer series paper and going through each one of them one by one on the video so that you can get a close-up. But let's just do one more so you get a feel for it. Lots of florals, pretty colors. I love it when it has a pattern on one side, more of a solid on the other side. And then, oh, Stampin' Up! changed its source of glimmer paper. And this stuff is beautiful. I can already see the difference in, look at that. Look how, can you catch the metallic on that? Look how pretty, oh, use that with the transfer adhesive sheets more of our designer series paper. Oops. Look at the big dots on that. Isn't that going to be fun? And then there's our other mask. It's got stars and hearts. So again, that was something that's going to be featured. Oh, oh my gosh. It's so much prettier in real life. I am so excited. I have um, demonstrator friends coming to play with me um, this Friday and next Monday. And they get to sit and just create and just play members of my team as a new product launch event for them. And I can't wait to see what ideas we all sit around and play with and create with as we work with this. So watch for lots of samples. But this is the Dazzling Diamonds. So you can get a better look at it. Oh, so, so pretty. We have a new crate paper that's this like coffee filter like stuff. Craft cardstock. This is a nice, heavier weight paper than our crumb cake. And crumb cake is one paper that I can't live without. And I have a funny feeling that this may be the next new one. It's a little bit heavier. But it's like that old brown wrapping paper you might see at the meat market or something. So that's really nice and really fun. And there's the gold version. Is that pretty? And then this designer paper I will flip through real quick for you as well because it has gold in it. It's called our specialty paper, not just our designer. It has the word specialty in it because it has a little extra, a little extra something, something. So there's your gold. Can you see the, see the metallic in that? See the shine? Oh, you guys, the whole thing is kind of a, uh, kind of a glossy finish. So that's really pretty. We're going to have to try to stamp on it and see if we can actually put ink on it. Let's see what is in this box. And of course, one of the nice things about this, quite a few of the things in this box I actually earned for free based on how well I did during celebration. And then as a demonstrator, I also get to be a hostess, which means that a lot of this was hostess benefits. So that's really kind of cool. So it's not as big of a price tag as you think. So lots of great new stamps to look with. This is the one that went with the French fry box. Oh, we're going to run out of space here, guys. Let's see. I love greetings. Greetings will make sets that you currently have in your craft room and on your shelves look new again. It just kind of freshens them up. Lots of florals and nature. Kind of hip and trendy. It's a little bit of something for everybody. It's really kind of fun. And even though I'm a dog person, I had to be fair and get the cats. So I have both the dogs and the cats. I'll have to do something about like it's raining cats and dogs. So there's some more stamped images for you. 
this box is pretty much all stamps. <laughs> I'll show you that one first. And a lot of ours are designed to coordinate with different tags and things like that. Yay! I saw this from the back. These are big letters. Look at these guys. Oh, look how big. These are going to be beautiful to do craft work with. We'll get some um, acrylic paints and things like that. Do some real fun pillows, you name it. That's wonderful. Oh, and it is so nice to see this stamp in real life. Um, I will be notating 100% of my commission from the sale of this stamp all year long to the military's version of Ronald McDonald House. It was called Fisher House as well as Wounded Warrior. So you watch for a lot with this set during the year as a veteran myself. Um, of course, I have a soft spot for the military. Um, there is the Ronald McDonald House set, though, and Stampin' Up! does donate $3 from the sale of that set. So if you really want to... Um, do some good. This stamp set and the other stamp set will be stamp sets that keep on giving. Sports. That way when my customers come over for Project Life Crops, I'll have sports stamps on hand for them to do their um, stamping with. So some stamps maybe don't, don't apply to some things that are going on in my life currently, but I love to have stamps on hand for what I call my open crops and open stamp time, both with my team and with my customers. So again, some really nice new greetings. Look at the clouds in that. Lots more greetings. So lots and lots of fun stuff. Stars. I keep seeing military medals when I look at that. If you were around during celebration, one of the things that you could get during celebration was the little um, pettit punch or banner punch. So this set coordinates with that. And of course the punch is also now available in the catalog. There is no limit to your awesomeness. I love, I would buy this set just for that stamp. I love this stamp. That's such a cool stamp. Lots of wedding themed stamps and images in this year's catalog. So lots and lots of fun wedding themes. Oops. Well, we'll just have to get them later. <laughs> I love this one too. Um, love, peace, and cupcakes. Kind of clever, kind of fun. So that's cute. The flower flare framelits, and I'm going to set that one on this side in case I can come up with the stamps. But lots, 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 lots. Banners, hip and trendy at signs and hashtags. That'll be great for the young people in your life that you want to send a greeting to and look hip. Oh, here we go. that pretty new lace trim. Ah, very Victorian. How fun is that? Okay, here is the flower patch. And that um, flower frenzy frame, as I told you about, works with these flowers so you don't have to cut them out by hand. And of course, the frameless then also work by themselves. And these are photopolymer stamps, so they're clear. Just a reminder, our stamps are made in Canab, our wood stamps and our photopolymer stamps. And the cases that they come in are also made in Canab, so you are supporting American businesses when you're buying our stamps, so that's really nice to know. And our inks, our Rich Regals, are currently being mixed and packaged in Canab, so that's great. So lots of fun stamp sets. I'm not going to show all of them to you. You might figure out which ones I didn't get, and those might be the ones that you like. So let's keep seeing what else is in here. New little sizzlets. I was looking to see if some of the new, there's a new pennant. We have the pennant punch and things like that. Oh, there's the doggy stamp. Too bad there's not a German short hair pointer. We'll make do though. Make cute cards for the judges, cute card for our teacher at handling class. Another great greeting set. And I love that some of the greetings are photopolymer. Then you can see where you're placing them. I really am a fan of our photopolymer. One of the other videos that I will be doing is show, showcasing all three types of stamps, our clear mount, our wood mount, and our photopolymer, and the features and benefits of all of them so that you can um, get a feel for them. Lots of stamps for adding texture and backgrounds and little borders to your projects this year. I call those accessory stamps. This is another one of my favorites. Real beautiful crosses and beautiful faith-based greetings. I really like that. And hold on a sec. 
invitation stamps. Again, lots of things for social occasions and parties. We can help you look like Martha Stewart. Actually, we can help you look better than Martha Stewart. There's the flower that goes with the punch that I showed you earlier. These are our cute little half-size cases. And there's alphabet stamps. And I love that they're in the wider case because I like to buy two sets or sometimes if I've had um, the chance to be the hostess of a couple parties, I might even invest in three. And that way I can do words that have multiple E's or multiple O's or even two L's like hello. And I don't have to have a hole and I can line them all up on a block. So I like that they're in the thicker cases. And then this is something new for us too this year is a lot of border stamps and they're all photopolymer. And when I do my presentation for your video on this, the three types of stamps, I'll show you some features and benefits, and you'll be happy that those are in clear. Oh, I really like the sizes of these. I know that they're shown full size in the catalog, but it's just so much nicer when you actually get them. Look at that size. Oh, those are great. Those are going to be really, really fun. Project Life is really going to look good. Lots more alphabets. So make sure you're coming over for a crop so that you can use all of these things. My customers have access to all of my stamps and supplies and die cuts. Oh my gosh, this is the one thing I've been talking about that I said that I would, and I've already like misplaced, sorry I'm going to walk out of your video view for a minute, misplaced my exacto knife and everything else, but if I only had to pick one thing it would be these. Oh, I'm so glad they're here. I can't believe they were at the bottom of the box and I had to dig for them. And now it's going to be like typical packaging. You can't get it off when you need it to. Look at Kid at Christmas. I can't get it off fast enough. I've been really, really wanting to see these. Oh, yay. Look. This is the one thing that I wanted more than anything out of that new catalog. And these are the little framelits in the alphabet. A lot of our cards look like they're done with e-cutters, but they're not. They're done with these. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Oh, yay. I'm so excited to see them. So again, lots more stamps, and let's just take one more look at the border. So you can see the long borders, and we're going to do some fun things with those, and they're photopolymer. And Stampin' Up! has adjusted the um, formula of the photopolymer since they're making them themselves, and they no longer smell like photopolymer stamps, if that makes sense. They don't have a, a chemical smell that I guess because they're a type of... Um, I don't know, petroleum-based product, There's, there was a scent to them before and there isn't anymore. And so the file tab, we've already seen those because I got those early on the cruise. And we have the striped scallops. And then more and more stamps. And then again, just the clever um, way that Stampin' Up! has a designated Project Life so that you can find ones that are Project Life. Of course, everything that I showed you works with Project Life, but I do also like that some are designated that way. And so these are wonderful words that are going to be perfect for a lot of your pages in Project Life. And let's see what else. Just going to skip some of the stamps. There's another set of flower dies. Lots and lots of DIY flowers. I have a great board that just has so many ideas for DIY flowers, so that's perfect. Then let's get this box out of the way. Ah, timber! It all fell in. Just a nice little watercolor thank you. Look at these adorable little hedgehogs. They're so sweet. This is the perfect size for a valentine. Now that I look at it, it is sized to be a child's valentine perfectly. So, yeah, it's a perfect size for a valentine. This is sometimes why you get things in your hand or you come see them or try them. Girls' night out. My daughter is... In her 20s, lots of weddings happening, so I get to help her look great. So these stamp sets are perfect. I love this. Sup? So what's up? I didn't really have the was up. And then I like this real artsy. And words to go with. Isn't that beautiful? And then groovy kind of love. So lots of fun stuff. And one more box to go through. Let's show you this box right here. Let's see what kind of fun stuff is in this last one. This should might be the rest, I would hope, of the Project Life. If not, we are missing a box, and that will come tomorrow. I have good faith that if it's missing, I just didn't want to wait because of that. So, yes, we do have the rest of the Project Life, and I will do a separate video just going through all of the cards 
with Project Life, so that is the rest of Project Life. Lots more stamps that we haven't seen yet. Background rules. Beautiful bunch. This coordinates with some of the punches and the dies. This little fox looks so grumpy under his umbrella. This is one of the hostess sets. So it was fun to pick those out. And then the new accessory packs for Project Life. They're all a little bit different. This one has bicycle clips. has some cute little craft kind of felt feeling elements. We'll have to pull them out. has some fun clear stars. This one has some wood embellishments and some clear sequins. This one has some arrows. They each have a unique washi tape. So that's really fun. These are new grid cards. So I wanted to see them. There are 50 in a pack. These are going to be great for stamping directly on, for journaling on. And they are 4 by 3 so they are ready cut and sized and ready to go right in. And then one of the other um, things that we are carrying now is a corner rounder that is the same radius as all of the Project Life cards by Becky Higgins. So they'll mix and match. So these are our nice grid cards to have. Our new pedal point cards. The one thing that I did not invest in were the handheld punches because I already have older ones from before. But Stampin' Up! does have some handheld punches now. And then this is the rest of the Designer Series paper. So lots and lots of fun new stuff. There's going to be lots of videos. My goal is to get one done a month. And so we'll go through Designer Series paper. We'll go through adhesive, the different stamps. We'll do some fun projects. We'll do some fun altering of this black and white paper. I always love it when we have a neutral like this because you can brayer it, sponge it, sponge it, marker it, glitter it, do all kinds of things to make it come to life. So, wow, that is a lot of fun stuff, guys. I can't wait. And again, I really do extend an invitation. I do have open crops, and at my crops, you are more than welcome to use my tools and my stamps. That's why I invest in them so that they are here for you to play with, to experience them. I would also love to invite you to attend our four-day retreat. We still have about 20 spots available in October. If you can't make it for four days, we do have three-day spots as well. Retreat includes all of your meals, um, planned projects for you, displays, lots of fun time. The retreat is open. Um, the retreat room, the crop room is open 24 hours a day, and it is staffed so that your valuables are always watched and taken care of. Plus, there's one of the four of us um, staff members there to answer questions, help you in all kinds of ways. And it's an amazing group of ladies. This will be our 10th retreat. And so we are really looking forward to that. If you saw something that you have questions on, you can always reach me at Janet at RemarkablyCreated.com. If this is your first time um, watching one of my videos and you don't have a catalog that showcases all of this yummy goodness, Again, Janet at RemarkablyCreated.com. If you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator and provide you with that catalog and, and provide you with connections to great ideas and, and um, the fun that is Stampin' Up! So thanks for watching and sharing in the fun of opening these three boxes with me today, guys. Take care and God bless you.